We all know what pretending is because we pretended as kids. So in pretending, a child creates an imaginary world where what is real is set aside and all of life temporarily goes on inside the imaginary bubble. Uh, and when the, the rules that children make inside the bubble don't match the world outside, the rules outside are ignored in favor of the rules inside. Very important to think of that when we talk about uh, the subject a little bit later on. So adults uh, lose that capacity to pretend, although it is re we retain it in terms of our interest in theater, movies or live theater, where we join actors when they're good and the script is good in the bubble that they cre create, bubble of pretending that they are people other than who they actually are. And when it's done very, very well, we lose ourselves for an hour and a half, two hours, in that imaginary bubble. And when we do that, that's called suspending disbelief. Adult pretending in a healthy form is suspension of disbelief. Now there's also a form of adult pretending that's not so wonderful. And that is when we turn a blind eye to painful things, things that we prefer not to see. Um, Oftentimes, uh, th there are two elements to what we blind ourselves. One is a set of feelings that are painful. The other is actions that we engage to make ourselves feel better. There are consequences that are certainly more serious in terms of estate planning, where again, there are feelings in terms of estate planning that we many of us would prefer not to acknowledge. The whole issue of estate planning is, speaks to the end of our life. Not exactly a pleasant thought, but I think a very important part of the life cycle. There are consequences that are certainly more serious in terms of estate planning, where again, there are feelings in terms of estate planning that we, many of us would prefer not to acknowledge. The whole issue of estate planning is, speaks to the end of our life. Not exactly a pleasant thought, but I think a very important part of the life cycle. There are some of us, though, who, like the child at night, and the day is over, and is told, well, it's time to put away your toys, and makes a fuss and really doesn't want to do it, and pretends I don't have to go to bed. So there are many people, adults, who prefer not to acknowledge the end of their life and put off the affirmation of life ending, which would be estate planning. That would be one situation. There's another situation, and again, it's pretending and creating this bubble where we don't have to live in the reality of the world outside. We can live in the reality that we define. While we create the bubble, and there's a reality inside the bubble that's different from the reality outside the bubble, we always know there's a little voice in our head that says, you know, you're not feeling well, you really ought to pay attention to that. Or a voice that's saying, you know, what, what I'm doing is just dangerous for me and I really ought not be doing it. But because the feeling is so powerful that needs to be, a, that, need, that, that calls for an antidote, because that feeling is so powerful, the antidote is enlisted and the person isn't able to pay attention to that little voice. So the way to identify it is to hear the voice. And that requires a certain amount of emotional integrity to be really honest with oneself. Something isn't right or I'm doing something that's not right and I must stop. Pretending itself is very powerful and allows very, it comes, it stems from very powerful needs. And the needs aren't given to rational conversation. They aren't given to New Year's resolutions like, I won't do this anymore. They're too powerful for that. And because the consequences can, in fact, many times be so dire, uh, it's important to seek help because we just can't do it ourselves. And at that point, we need someone who is trained to understand what, pre what pretending is about, to go beyond he's in denial or she's procrastinating, to go to the deeper level that there's something wrong and to help us address that. So that um, while pretending in childhood is fun and pretending for adults can sometimes be fun, when pretending creeps into the crevices of our life, 
it can be far, far from fun and actually wind up destroying things that we hold very dear.